What up, YouTube? Your boy Rikiji here, the old pop, the oldest beat maker on the planet, with another Magic Music Maker Premium 2020 tutorial. Hopefully, it don't crash. Hopefully, it don't just, you know, what it does. But show you some cool. The sounds are really good. It's easy to start out with. And if I'm gonna be playing my little, um, my little bitty Akai MPK Mini here, I like this little keyboard you throw it in your backpack. You're on the go producer, which nowadays nobody's on the go producer because of COVID 19 and quarantine, but that's all good. All right, so roll that intro. Get the ambassador, the mellow philosopher. You may have to adjust your camera aperture, cause I'm the man with the plan that's been planning to take over the planet like a dictator. Get paper. What up, YouTube? Back again with another tutorial. I think this is episode three. I've got, I got various tutorials on Magic Music Maker Premium. And really, I, I don't really look at these as tutorials. Uh, I just look at them as stuff I've learned and give you ideas that you can take and run with it where you want to. So I'm not really an expert in the software, not in the software I have. But, you know, it is cool, provided it don't crash. And uh, Dale Corporation, again, get yourself together with this software, dude. You bought it, fix it. So. so like yeah, I said, I'll be using my little Akai MPK Mini. Put it inside my little baby. Look at that. Put it in the backpack. Hold it in your hand. Travel ready. You know. And it's a nice little keyboard. I'll leave the link down in the description if you're interested in looking at it. Okay, so today, uh, let me see. So again, just a quick landscape of things. You know, here's your here's your your channel, your track tracks over here here's your arrangement panel your arrangement view in here here's your sound pools uh, sound pools which come with a lot of them come with you know premium version or free version some of them you have to buy here's your instruments right here which is your bass uh, so this is loops this is all your sound pools are you can change the instruments and here's all the instruments uh, most ones that I have installed, some of them again come with the premium version, some of them don't. So, you know, and then uh, file manager, there's no tap up here. This is where you can go and, of course, whatever files you have, your desktop, desktop samples, however you got it, and for your samples and all that other stuff you can drag and drop into here. Your storage is where you can go buy new stuff at. So, if you got the store, it tells you what new stuff is, like new instruments, it shows you updates, here's all new instruments, so you go buy these. You can sample these also, like if you want to sample something like, let's say 1957 wooden clarinet, you can just click on this little, click on the little play button. And just click on it to stop it. So you can sample anything before like analog sense two packages, it's 29 bucks. It'll tell you the price, so if you want to sample that, you know. I said something, the sounds are really good. I, I, give, I give them credit for that. I give credit for credit to do it. You know, so you can go through. I have some of these. But anyway, so today, let's, let's go back to loops. Oh, downloads. This is all, of course, uh, all your downloads. Uh, come back, boy. This is all the stuff I've downloaded, I think. Skills, complete, bundle, uh, but And you download and install your stuff there. All right, so let's go back to loops. Uh, let's actually do something. So today, what I want to do is let's, let's let's add take some of the loops for the ideas for some of these packages. Let's do just do let's do uh, let's do trap. Uh, let's go do this festival trap. All right. So we can take a loop from that, and then I can add your own instruments what you want to. Again, for instruments you can always go to your track, click on this little plus sign here, boom, right, and that's going to bring up you know. All your different instruments, you can just go down and pick what you want and play around with it. Uh, it's a lot in here, so I mean, it's, it's all preference to taste anyway. All right, so, so let me see. Uh, let me see what these bases sound like in this trap festival. So, again, these are your pitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like going up a scale A, B, C, D, E, F, G, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, let's see what this call bass sounds like. I don't know, let's just try it. Let's put it back on pitch six. I always have to go from six to two. Just drag and drop that in there. Boom. And go to two. All right. Uh, so let's see. Let me see if that does it right. Sharpen 
another shot. over and shot that. So basically just like just like working with a spice on a move or something. So control A, I don't know what I'm saying, just control A, I'll command A I'm on Mac. And then go down to control on command key, just press D all the way across and it fills in your 16 bar. Boom. Okay, this is your loop point right here. This is your, this is your loop point. So whatever this go, this is where you loop. Well, I'm sorry, you put it here. And you have this much filled out, 16 bars. It's going to do seven bars and loop back. So make sure you always, as you add your, as you add your tracks or you add your, your loops or whatever, make sure as this expands, you always bring your loop point out, your loop bar up here. Drag it out and drag it into it. Make sure it stays within the loop so you can arrange, okay? So I said, I don't know what that sounds like. So uh, we can just take what it is, you know, part of this, part of this, just doing this is actually um, just having fun, you know, uh, nothing to be too serious about. Okay, let's get some drums here. Okay, I even like that one called drums A. I'll just drag that one right here. All right, boom. And highlight it, command or control. Uh, man, uh, control key or command key, and then D all the way across. Oh, all right, so right there, we might have a nice little, let's see what it sounds like. So now, if I just want to add something to my own keyboard, so I, can, I already got by default, every time you open up your program, just, just piano comes by default. So if you don't like, you don't like that, you can right click right here and just say delete track, boom, yes, get rid of that. All right, so let's go in here and find some little, some little key sounds, some, I don't know what we do here. Let's try keys under cinematic synth, I don't know. Cathedral scent? I have no idea what it's on. Like. There's, so there's so many different instruments in here, man. I mean, for the price, it's really good. Something real eerie, huh? In. So right here we see this is in A. See right up here, this shows you whatever these loops are in. So this loop is in A. Go to D. So A to D. I don't know. So let's see it in right. Let's do a piano sound. Let's go find us a piano. Concert Grand, Concert Grand LE. That's the piano default that usually comes with the pro program, right? So let's do a quick Concert Grand over here. And let's go, we got, uh, let's see what this piano chorus sounds like. Come on, come on. Takes forever to open up. Okay, so here's your, the instruments open as this piano. Kind of got that old old school piano, you know, the old pianos upright that you find in school somewhere, some music room that's kind of out of tune. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. So let's just use that. I don't know. Now, if once you close this, and if you want to bring that button up, you say, "Oh, I want to change the sound," so you can you can do it. Um, You can do it. You see, this is gonna. If you click up in your track, any your track, you see, it's gonna gear icon right there. A little gear icon, right? If you click on that, it brings back up your instrument panel. So, all right. So we're just gonna stay with that right now. So right now, delays on. I'm just gonna just how it is coming out the box with the effects already set up. You can also play around with these and get what you want. So it's no big deal. Okay. 
That's a little bit, it sounds a little bit off because again, I'm using, I am using, uh, actually the driver I'm using so it comes out on, 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 my, on my video recording and the latency is kind of behind because I am using, if you go up to, oh, another thing, you want to go up to, there's two ways you can open up your settings where you can see your MIDI control, your audio and all your different settings. Uh, you can click on this little, this little thing up here, this little gear up here says program settings. I can get that. Or you can just do file uh, settings, program settings, right? All right. Or you can just press P on your keyboard, the letter P. Bam. Okay. So I just did that. So see, I ha I'm ha I am having to use the voice meter virtual ASIO driver, uh, ASIO driver. And the way I'm using it, the reason I'm using I'm using this thing right here. I'm going to bring this over called. Um, Voice Meter Banana, and this is a little piece of free software that you can go download from Mac or from Windows. Uh, and what this does is actually allows you, your when you're doing recordings in OBS or whatever else you're using, let me get rid of that. Uh, it also allows you to, because, because when you're doing, like especially in Windows, I don't know about Mac, but you, you have your, your, uh, your desktop audio, which is coming from your DAW, Windows, the Windows driver does not know how to process that as far as recording video, so you have to use this. So uh, I would suggest use Voice Media Banana. I'll leave that down in the link. If I remember, I always say I'll leave it down in the link. I'll never forget this. Y'all guys, I, yeah, right, do it. Never find nothing in your links. So I'll try to do that. I promise I'm going to leave the link for this. The little Akai, Akai Professional LPK 25, and a mini, great little keyboard, great little mini controller, um, and Voice me for now, so I'll do that. Hopefully, matter of fact, I gotta make a note for myself. But let me do that, okay? So, but I'm using this driver, uh, okay? And that's the reason you, you hear the latency, so enough of that, okay? So now we played that line here. Now, this might not come out right. Now, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a control A, I'm gonna quantize that. I think that's a little off right here. So let's see how that sound. Nope. Get out of there. Okay, you hear that? So you can oh I'm down here. So we know that. We know that. This little piece right here, so if you just, here's your, here's your, if you go in there, this is your MIDI view, your, your editor view, like, you know, you know, piano roll, just like an FL Studio or, or Ableton piano roll. So, click on this and I want to bring, I want to bring, I think, these two over right here. I'll just drag those over. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, 
so we know we got that. Drain, highlight that, and drag it over. All right. And I kind of like the way, even though that was kind of skipped a little bit. You hear, you hear that one? It kind of skipped a little bit. So let's try it. It's okay. I mean, sometimes mistakes are. You'd be surprised how many hit songs just little mistakes that were in the studio. Somebody dropping keys or something doing something came out here. Way that little clip so let's take this one here and let's bring this one over here so we got another right you know check it out i'll say a mistake is cool but you got that little bow -doo. So that sounds good. So here's this true test. Here's the true test. Let's bring that in a little bit. I like that. Control key D or command key D on Mac. Boom, boom. All right. And let's just actually let's just run that. Let's cut. Let's just run that with two right there. Everybody wanna try to ride Everybody wanna ride Yeah, we got to do the bottom three Yeah, we got to do the three I don't wanna be the right Trap Festival, Trap Festival, Trap Loop Pack. I brought in this bass called Bass A, uh, which I brought in the full measure from from, uh, from from pitch six in the scale to pitch six. I do a lot of my songs here. Six to two sounds really good. It gives that kind of minor feel, a half step feel, kind of, I guess, what you call it. And I did, I did call Bass A. I dropped it in there, shortened up the loop, the loop panel, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't play out shot up the loop and then brought in a uh, pitch two same kind just break change of pitch and so that that was my bass line right so that was my bass line right there right and then i just brought in drums called drums a out of the drums pack on the trap special for trap loop and you know my drums are they already mixed pretty tight Like a military march, that little, you know, the kick. The, 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 the. I said most of these loops are mixed pretty well, so you don't really have to enhance them. You don't have to do much to them, other than adjust your levels in your track uh, up or down, so they're not too loud, etc. And then, of course, the key line that I played, um, that I played with uh, Concert Grand Magic uh, Six Track Three, and this was the chord, the piano chords. Which, if you actually, if you click on that, you can see. Here's all your different sounds, right? Like the orchestra. You know, but I did the chorus, which gave us again that old school kind of upright piano in the school, back in the corner, it was all a tune sound, right? All right, so, and so we got our first idea, right? Bust it. Yeah, bust it. So, so now we got that right there. So, so what if we do Control A or Command Command A to highlight, right? Control A for Windows, and if we do Control D, that's wait, wait, Control A, did that do it? Did that do it? Hold on. Yeah. So see, now we can't see everything here. Now one or two ways you can you can actually you can actually zoom down like this here to see your, your workflow. All right, I zoom up. Right? I zoom up. But if we go back to like that, we can't see it. Or you can press your control key, hold your control key, your command key down, and your arrow down key. Boom. Boom. And there it is. You 
you see what you're doing, all right? So we did the control D, we copied that first piece over, and right here, we have the structure for a song, right? I mean, So now we got three tracks. We got bass, and I always, I always, I need to get in the habit of myself. I don't do it. I just put bass, so I need to know where this came from. So I can always come here. Like if you know it's from whatever loop pool you got, so we can say, we can rename this a uh, trap, a uh, bass trap, trap, and just do uh, festival, right? And we can call it. Uh, what was the base for that? Call base? That was uh, call base A, right? So that way, wait, uh, <coughs> trap, festival, call base A, right? You enter, bam. So now we know that came from whatever. I, I need to start doing that because I, a lot of times I'll do, I'll do my songs right, and then I go back and I see bass key. I go, what, which one did I use? What you know? So I need to stop doing that. Make a note to myself. Make a note to yourself on that. And the drums we did was uh, Shane. Okay, so we're called the trap sound pool, and just 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 to keep you organized, trap sound pool, and we did uh, a festival. And it was call drums A, call, call drums, call drums A, right? Boom, all right? I don't know, how do we, how do we, I know we can bring this over some kind of way. I know there's a good way to be. All right, but, and then piano, of course, we know was, uh, so we'll know this, this piano crew is going to end there, so we know where we got this from. So we got this from Concert Grand, uh, piano, Concert Grand, piano chorus. All right, so we go here, say, this is our Concert Grand, Grand, and then we just call it piano chorus. We know which, so we know which VST we use, that piano. And that's to be the chorus. Okay. Um, save it. I haven't saved it yet, which I'll tell you what. If you like me, dudes, how many songs have you guys lost of beats or ideas because you didn't save some of your piano crash? It, I mean, you've been working 30, got a fire, something going on. and it's just, So I don't know what we're going to call this. Let's call this one. Uh, let's call this one. Um, so it's called bass. I don't know. Let's see what we call it. It's called Calling Everyone. Some song. I don't care. We just, we just give it a Calling Everyone. Name is called Calling Everyone. Okay. So we got that saved now. Calling Everyone. This name. Um, now, another thing. Make sure uh, in your settings, if you go up here, click on your little thing right here, right below, you just set it. Okay. Save project backups automatically. All. I got every one minute. Um, I think I should do five minutes, hopefully. Okay. And if you crash, you can, I mean, if, you, if I crash, I could hope I can go back to a minute ago. And if, if I miss something, I'm just going to add it back. All right. So we got our beat here. So now we want to add, let's add something else that's a little more, I don't know, weird, like different. There's analog sense. Let's see what we got. We got pads. Analog synths, BST pads. So let's go to, I don't know what some of these are. Airbow, what the hell? Airbow, Airbow. Let's see what we got here. Airbow. Let's 
to play around with it. here where we have our cards at of course and then right in here we'll have our little keyboard so let's see if we get that in wait for let me make sure let me make sure I got my let's see if I can get my keyboard up here so we can see what we're doing here let me see not for sure Trying to get my uh, hold up. I'm trying to get my my little my other little USB live camera screen. I always get my keyboard so people know I'm really playing keyboards because I'm old and well he ain't really playing the keyboards but you know I always like to validate man. Okay, so let me see. I might need it. USBs, man. Sometimes they connect. Sometimes they don't. Uno momento, por favor. So y'all can see me better. Let me bring my. Uh, I don't want to do that. There we go. software has not here we go what here we go software locking up on me yo locking up on me just because I what plugged in a USB drive see what I'm saying that's really stupid dude Dell Corporation, you guys need to fix this software, bro. Seriously. If you're going to buy something, make it better. It's nice software. It's cheap. A lot of people can love using this. It's easy. But your technical issues have to be resolved, bro. With Windows or Mac. Same thing in Mac. You, you're t you, you need to fix this software, bro. Seriously. Right? Wow. This is ridiculous, dude. This is really ridiculous. Let me see if I can fix this. Give me, hold, give me a moment, man. Let me see if I can fix this. I doubt it. So, um, Windows users, you know, if you do Control Alt Delete on your keyboard, bring up Task Manager, you can go into that. Oh, that's not responding. Okay, that's what's not, not responding. Okay. Uno, uno momento, uno momento. Let's call it that. Okay. Device not responding. Call it program.
Hang on while Windows reports the problem. Who cares? Okay, so let's bring, uh, let's bring our... Uh, and that right there is your voice meter banana that I showed you crashing. Okay. Let me hold my driver here. Do -do -do. Check, check. We're back. Check. Okay, where we? I forgot where. Oh, gotta set this back to record. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Cut. And let's see what we got here. quantize bam lock that on the grid I think it's gonna be okay so you highlight press control D or command D boom and we'll bring this one over here I think it'll be okay and then we can bring this two over here see how it like up highlight that control A hit that Control D. Make sure you bring over your loop point every time you add measures, expand. Boom. All right. Let's see what we got. Again, if you like the channel, please subscribe to the Bukiji channel. Subscribe button down below, the notification bell if you want to push the bell down. I really don't know why I stay with this software, man, because it's always fast. I'm out of that light, man.
Magic Media Maker Premium 2020 or Magic Media Maker Day Out Free Editions. Hey, so I say for the price, you get a lot of stuff. The, the sound quality, the BSG qualities are really good, I think. I mean, compared to some of the stuff that's going like Omnisphere and all, but for their own right. And what I like about it is the software is, it gives you a whole new sound. It's not the cookie, cookie cutter, 808, same old clap, 808. It's, there's so many textures in there you can use that you can divide, you can you can make, you can do what you want to learn how to do your pitches, real simple, I'll show you how to create your pitches, pitch six to two, or copy, or, you know, duplicate a pitch and, and set it up pitch two, three, or just play around with your MIDI controls if you can play keyboard a little bit, spare with your cards, but hey, that's it, imagine what you make premium 2020, so I'll get a crazy, your oldest beat maker in the world, oldest on the planet, unless somebody proved otherwise, Comment down below, man. What, what what else y'all want to know about this? You know, y'all want, you know, comment down below. Man. Hey, hey, can you make this type of beat in it? Or can you try to make it? I'll try. It. I don't know if I can. I said, pick pick a hip hop artist or somebody that's music, and see if you can also if I can make a beat with this with this song. And also, I'm gonna start playing some live with my instruments, my guitar and bass, and just do doing some incorporate some of the loop sounds with real instrument playing. I can deal with my MIDI controller, but guitar and bass, etc., etc. So. Hey man, I'm out of here. God bless man. For God so loved the world, He gave the only begotten Son, John three sixteen. That whoever should believe in Him should never perish, but have eternal life. Take that to the bank. I'm out, baby. Peace. Get the ambassador, the mellow philosopher. You may have to adjust your camera aperture, cause I'm the man with the plan that's been planning to take over the planet like a.